Yo, what's good, YouTube? You're back with the Prez. And today's day two of my new training program. I just spoke to you guys about my new bulk and my new phase I'm going to be going into for the next couple of months. A strength building phase, trying to build muscle and a steady bulk for the next five, six months. Now listen, I told you my main focus was getting stronger, standing military press, weighted dips, weighted pull-ups, weighted muscle-ups, and of course, squatting. So today's my day two. We're in the garage today, and I'm going to be taking you guys through my strength training for my legs. It's going to be a five-by-five five session starting off with squats. Then you're going to see I'm going to get into the accessory movements. Stiff leg deadlifts, kettlebell lunges, lunges, and some calf work. So stay tuned. This is my full day two routine straight from the plan that I just spoke about. And I'll also I'll put, I'll put the whole workout phase in a clip on this video as well. And I'm just going to give you guys a new quick little tour of the gym, a little update of what's going on in my home gym right now. So a little new addition. We just copped a nice four foot high uh, dip stand. Really sturdy. I always had the rack that I was using. I always had the par uh, little parallel bars. We got this flat bench, it's adjustable, it goes decline, incline, straight up for shoulder presses. We got the whole dumbbell rack from fives all the way up to 55. We got the squat rack, the pull up bar. I got over 300 pounds in plates. The Bosu, you already know with the mirror on deck. My little spar bag. So this is just a little update on the home gym. I got all the weight belts. I got a hex bar back there. I got some battle ropes also. Also got a heavy bag. So, gym's coming along. And don't forget, guys, holler at me for personal training. DM me if you guys need a custom plan, diet. Stay tuned for the routine. Here we go. Warm-up set one. Remember, this is a 5x5 five five program, and this is my first warm-up set. This is something you're going to see only me doing. I've never seen anyone else doing this type of warm-up for their lower body before. So what I like to do is I like to put on around 135, a light weight, and I like to stand on one leg, and I like to really lift the pelvis on the other leg, really working on the stabilization in the, in the one support leg. And at this other time, I'm really engaging the core, trying to control and hold the other knee and leg up. I find that to be really effective at just warming up the body and getting used to holding the weight. And then I just do a few sets of that, rock back and forth one or two times on each leg. And then I'll go into a few deep squats for the first warm-up set. So here, like I said, all I have is 135 on the bar. I did two of those standing, stabilizing holds first. And then I went into a few deep squats just to warm up. And I have five reps here for the warm-up set. All right, and here's my second warm-up set. I have 185 on the bar. I do not go into the single leg stabilization holds. I just go into a quick set, just with the heavier weight of five reps. Again, just so my body gets used to lifting up some heavier weight before I go into the working sets. So these are my two warm-up sets. First one was 135. Now I have 185 on the bar for another five reps. All right, so. First two sets you guys just saw, my warm-up sets. First one I did with 135, then I threw a 25 on, and hit another set of five at 185. So now we got a 45, a 35, and a five on each side. So we got 215 pounds on the bar. It's gonna be our working set number. So we're gonna stay at 215 pounds, and I'm gonna go for five sets of five reps. I'm gonna keep the break strict two minutes, and if I can complete all five sets of five, five reps with the two minute break, then next week when I'm on my five by five leg day again, I will go up and wait. If I do not complete all five sets of five reps, I will stay at this weight again until I complete it. So, set one, 215 on the bar.
All right, we just wrapped up squats. 215, five sets of five reps, completed. Now, straight from the program, we're moving on to kettlebell or dumbbell single leg lunges. So now we're gonna hit 10 lunges on each leg. So I'm gonna work the left leg first. I'm gonna lunge forward, back, forward, back. 10 times on the left, then I'm gonna move to the right. Now guys, besides working your legs here, if you're holding kettlebells or dumbbells, it's also gonna work a lot of your grip strength. It's gonna engage a lot of forearm strength, force that posterior chain to stay upright. You don't want the weights to be taking your body down this way. Everything upright, posterior chain all engaged, scapula, everything active, traps engaged, you don't want the weights to be taking you down. So remember, it's a leg workout, but besides that, you're going to be working grip strength, forearm strength, and working the entire upper body by having to force yourself to keep the scapula and the entire chain engaged. So, three sets, ten reps on each leg. sets of lunges done. Again, straight from the program. Now we're going on to stiff leg dumbbell deadlifts. Volume's going to be high here also. We're going to go for 12 to 15 reps. I'm going to keep the break short. 60 to 90 seconds max. So I was using the 40 pound dumbbells for my lunges. I moved it up to 45 now for the stiff leg deadlifts. And here we go. Three sets, 12 to 15 reps. Set one. I'm sticking to this strict program for the next five months. That's the way you see progress, guys. You can't deter from something. Even though it's hard, it may get boring. Five by five is not a very enjoyable routine to go on, but it's very effective. Listen, I'm on my last leg routine of the day. Stuck to the program with the five by five squats, dumbbell lunges, stiff leg deadlifts. Now I'm going to wrap it up with calf work. I got four sets of 20 reps. I'm going to use the barbell now. I got 45 and a 25 on each side. I'll show you guys. So we're gonna be working 185 pounds. So we're gonna do high rep, four sets, 20 reps. So listen guys, you guys don't think I train my legs. I train them all the time. I train calves all the time also. I've tried different methods, high reps, high weight. Listen, my calves get lit. My calves are sore after I train them. I can't help if they grow or not. So now I'm gonna be working Heavy weight and high reps for this whole program. I'm going to be doing 20 clips all the time. And I'm going to always keep the weight at a minimum of 185 pounds. So let's get it. stretch so if you're in the gym and you're on a calf machine the calf machine is elevated so you raise up in the concentric rep and then when you come down 
you lower all the way so your toe is pointing up. It gives you a nice deep stretch in the calf. So when you're doing it on the floor, you're limited by the range of motion because the floor is in your way. So on set one, you're going to see I demonstrated doing it on the floor. Now for set two, you guys can see I have two five-pound plates here. What that is going to do is it's going to give me a little bit of elevation. So I will keep my tippy toes on the plates like that and my heels will be on the floor. So now when I raise up, I'm getting a higher range of motion on the concentric rep. And when I go down, instead of stopping there where the floor would hit, I get a little deeper stretch so I get that three-quarters of an inch uh, elevation from the weight. So instead of stopping here, I get a little more eccentric stretch in the calf muscle on the way down, which is going to bring more range of motion and more muscle growth. So set two, same weight, 185, 20 reps. Listen, legs are a big muscle group. They take up your entire lower body. You got the quads, the hamstrings, the calves, the glutes. Multiple muscle groups are engaged in legs. And you use your legs every day for walking, for stability. Important muscle to train. Listen, guys, if you got weak legs, it's going to lead to injuries in your knees, joints, etc., etc. So this is a very effective strength building exercise, 5x5 five five training. If you guys are looking to get stronger with squats, 5x5 five five is low volume. It teaches your body and your nervous system to understand the movement of the squat. While you're understanding the movement, working that low volume rep range, understanding it, you're going to be building strength. Strength in the legs, strength in the entire lower body. Remember, squats are the powerhouse of lower body workout. They're literally engaging the entire lower body. But still, guys, it's multiple muscles in the legs, so you've got to hit it from other angles. Then we hit the lunges, get a little more volume work in. The stiff leg deadlifts, work the posterior part of the leg, hamstrings, the glutes, and again, guys, you can't neglect the, ca the calves. You guys always comment on, oh, I got small legs. Listen, I train them, like I said. And this is day one of the leg routine. Day two, as planned out in the program, it's going to be gym-based, higher volume, all machine-based work. So I'll be doing leg presses, leg extensions, lying leg curls, things of that nature. This is my main strength day for legs, and I told you guys, I'm training each muscle group twice per week. I have two push days, two pull days, and two leg days each week. And you guys got to remember, you got to stop looking at weeks as Sunday to Sunday. Your training plan should be bigger. You got to take breaks. So it's not always going to be Monday. It's not always going to be the same day. It's not always going to be a push day. As the weeks, as the days go on, your break days accumulate. As you take those break days accordingly, three days on, one day off, and your pattern is just going to happen to so fall. Your day one push day may fall on a Sunday one day. The following week it may be on a Tuesday. So the days are not going to be the same, guys. Don't look at your training split as such a small thing. It's a bigger picture. You're going for long term here, guys. So it's not just going to be week to week. You're going to be working day by day for a longer period of time. That's how you stay consistent. That's when you see the progress. Remember, stay consistent. See progress each week. Don't jump the weights up too fast. If you don't complete your five sets of five reps on your main movement on that specific week and day, you do not increase the next week until you can complete that same rep range and same uh, weight for five sets of the five reps. Once you complete that, then it's time to move up. And it doesn't have to be crazy um, jumps. Listen, I'm doing 215 today for five by five squats. I may not even jump to 225. I may jump to 220 and hit a five by five at 220 and then go to 225. Listen, I got six months of this program. There's no need to rush. If I did an um, increase of 10 pounds every week, I would probably end up at around maybe 350 plus five by five, which I don't plan on that happening. Listen, progress is not always gonna be linear. You're gonna hit peaks and valleys, but it's the consistency and the, and the progress that you guys can chart to make the trends look positive. Remember, it's the consistency that causes the trends. You can't just be sporadic, because then the trends are never gonna be, like I said, if nothing's linear. You're going to have peaks and valleys, but the trends will be upward or downward depending on the goal. So stay tuned for the rest of the program. I'm going to be filming routinely this entire program. So I hope you guys are uh, trying to build some strength too because we can get it together. Follow this exact routine. My workouts are going to be posted. And like always, 
Like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate all the support, guys. Come on, we're almost at 10K. Let's share these videos. Leave comments. Let's get the algorithms on YouTube sharing the videos. I appreciate it again. Peace out. Barn Astros. You already know, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out. Barn Astros.